Hi, my name is Amanda Flowers Peterson and you're on beauty, my view on beauty. Today I am talking to you about how important it is to take care of your body from the inside out and if you're trying to figure out some ways to slowly work into having a healthier lifestyle, I have some ideas for you. One of them that I'm going to talk about today is oil pulling. Oil pulling is a wonderful opportunity and source for you to detox your body through your mouth. And I'm going to show you how I do oil pulling with essential oils and how I've essentially been able to keep my family healthy and our teeth white and bright. And on top of that, at an economical price. You won't want to miss this one. Check it out. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining me today on Beauty. Like I said, I'm going to be talking about oil pooling. As you saw in my opener, um, I am so excited to share with you something that has become a natural part of my healthy living regimen. I definitely feel like my life has been changed since I regularly started using essential oils. And I feel like it's been one of the best investments I've ever made. I use for my oil, have you seen that? I use organic cold pressed coconut oil and I use the Nutiva brand. I get that from Costco. We have a membership that me and my husband pay for it for years. One tablespoon, that's the large spoon in your, in your kitchen that you use to eat with. I use one tablespoon, I scoop that out and then I use an oil. Now here are the four choices of oils that I use depending on where I'm at. I have with me lemon oil, oregano oil, melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree oil, if you know that oil, and peppermint, okay? So for lemon oil, I have cho um, chosen to use lemon oil when I am seeing that I just have been be making some poor choices and I have not been eating well. Lemon has been known as a natural detox. So and what I do is I take the tablespoon and if I am using lemon oil that day and I know I need to detox, I take three drops of lemon oil on top of the cold pressed coconut oil. It should probably be in a solid state depending on where you're at, especially this time of the year. But three drops of that and I swish it in my mouth for a minimum of 10 minutes. And I like to put it in before I get in the shower. So I'll take it, I'll put it in the, while I'm in the shower, I'll swish around and I'll be in the shower and I'll do my hair washing regimen. I'll, I'll bathe and then after I'm done bathing, I spit it out and my teeth are white they're fresh and um, you just feel better. I've noticed, I've been doing oil pulling for half a year now on a regular basis and I have noticed less breakouts on my face. I have noticed so many good things. And so lemon oil is a great, just if you wanna add another level of detoxing to your regimen, try the lemon oil. And I use doTERRA, Young Living is also great. You just wanna make sure you're using therapeutic grade um, essential oils. I'm not selling anything. I don't distribute. I'm just communicating to you that doTERRA and Young Living have seemed to work the best for me and when you're having high quality great oils it seems to give you better results. <coughs> I have a dry cough that I'm treating right now. Subsequently with oregano oil. Oregano oil is known as a natural antibiotic. And what I'm, when I am oil pulling, which I do every day um, in the morning when I'm getting ready, um, before I brush my teeth, I use, a, I use the tablespoon of oil and then I put an essential oil with it. And when I choose oregano oil, it is because I am noticing I'm having either some sinus stuff, a little cough, scratchy throat, my ears are aching. As I swish, I notice the first time I put three drops, now I want to I have to give you a disclaimer. Oregano oil can be burning. It can give you a burning sensation. So you wanna be very careful with this and make sure you're prepared that it will burn. But the burning only lasts for me for a very short time. And I put three drops of that and I swish it around with, with the coconut oil. And every time my nose in a matter of about 10 minutes gets completely cleared out and drains and I spit out the mucus that was in there 
in my nasal passageway with the coconut oil into the garbage can and I am able to breathe again. I have not I've seen results that have kicked it out as quickly as anything except oregano oil. But again, this highly suggests this if you're noticing any kind of upper respiratory issues. The next one is melaleuca. Melaleuca is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is known for um, just for a, a whole gamut of things, but people use it for skin care. And so if you're noticing your gums are bleeding, I will oil pull with melaleuca and I notice my gums will stop bleeding. I will brush my teeth and no blood will come. And so it is just so healing for skin. Anything where there is just like a break in the skin of your gums, melaleuca. Lastly is peppermint. If you're noticing you're having consistent bad breath or sometimes you just want your breath to be really, really well, um, do peppermint oil. I've never oh. noticed results like I've noticed with oil pulling, using an essential oil. It has changed my life. My teeth are whiter. I'm able to get the results that I'm looking for and I just feel healthier. And so I hope this has been a helpful tip for you. Remember, if you're considering trying to add some detoxifying elements to your body. Do not neglect considering the option of oil pulling. Oil pulling could be a great option for you. It is affordable. It is easy to do. You can add it into your regimen. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, share your experiences with oil pulling if you've done it before. And if you've never done it with an essential oil, please consider that as well. And this has been Amanda Flowers Peterson on Beauty. My view on beauty. You have a wonderful and blessed day. Goodbye.